Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! game. <laughs> I've, I've forgotten. It's World Championship 2009. We are the preliminary champions, and I feel like boasting to my friends right now because I am the best. Uh, also, it's been like a few days since I've been able to record, so I've decided I'm going to go check with Blister to see if everything's okay, and if uh, that is how I continue story stuff. You're finally at the Fortune Cup. Good luck. Let's see. Seriously, you're awesome. Keep up going to the championship. So, to, oh, it's the day of the championship. I do remember that um, we uh, got invited, and I, since I got through the preliminaries, and some days have passed. I just hope that my deck is up to the challenge, and I hope that I can put up a really good fight in the Fortune Cup. Um, I'm assuming they hold the Fortune Cup where they held the preliminaries, because that's like the only tournament venue I've seen in this entire game. Uh, not counting the underground tournament um, where we fought Akiza. But we'll see how it goes. I am quite excited myself. Uh, excuse me, people that mostly beat me. <laughs> I'm going to the Fortune Cup because I got an invitation. Sorry, I know you're better duelists, but it doesn't matter if you're better. So let's go ahead and save the game just in case we have some mistakes. Um, oh god, we've never actually been inside this building before. What's going on here? Leo and Luna! Hey, it's Cooper. Cooper's here. Now, not, not we, actually just me. But I don't really like this kind of thing. Uh, look, I told you, I blank, blank, blank. Just leave it to me. All right, wait, can I duel you? Oh, wait, wait. So you two were invited, but actually it was just Luna who was invited. Okay. Um, there's an elevator here, but I don't know what's on the other side. So excuse me, kids. I want to see what's down here for and that's probably how we start these things i want to see if this elevator takes us anywhere interesting maybe a save point maybe uh um oh it's not a say oh it's a, a rest room or something like a green room okay and there is a save point in here i was right about that wow i am good at this it's like i understand how video games are structured sometimes not always but sometimes so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to attempt the fortune cup we have our cool deck um, it's kind of crazy that Luna got invited, um, until you've realized what's going on in the story. What took you, Duelist? It's showtime! Ladies and gents, without further ado, it's the Fortune Cup! Let's get this thing started with the first match. Are you ready? It's me, guys. I'm ready. Then let's head over to the duel field and see what you've got for in this super duper duel. Well, it's finally here. It's time for the big event that we've all been waiting for, the Fortune Cup. Our first match is between Ransborg and Cooper, the warrior-looking guy that wears the armor, huh? So he's still in the tournament, but I knocked Gregor out. I shall burn thee into the thing of thine eyes, the glorious sight of a true knight. Well, warrior decks are pretty powerful, and since we're not going to be on a dual rudder, that means I'm using my water deck. Hopefully my water deck is tournament level. Let's find out. All right, Mermaider. Fit for a knight. 1420 power level. Oh, yeah, he made it to Fortune Cup for a reason. I'm sure his cards don't exist in this game, which means they're going to give him a deck that I don't think I can predict. 15 extra deck is horrifying. So, holy shit. Did you see this man's stats? Holy crap. His stats are all... Look at this. Look at this. Let me move this. Look at those stats. He's good at everything. Everything! Um, oh, wow. I don't want to waste an option. But I'm going to set Penguin Soldier just in case. Because um, now that I know I'm up against someone crazy. Like, obviously, oh, but we don't know what he has. Maybe he uses Nobleman across that. Maybe he uses Shield Crush. We don't know. He uses Twin Sword Marauder, which is, funny enough, a card that can kill me face down, I believe. Which would really suck. Oh, it doesn't. Thank God. All right. Oh, it does piercing, though. That does really suck. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it can attack again because it attacked me. So at least Penguin Soldier saved me that problematic portion. Now, let's see. He only had that. So one trap card. Not too scary, but bad things can happen with a single trap. Um, United We Stand is nice. The only thing in my hand that could beat a Twin Marauder is my Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. So let's hope he doesn't have a trap for that. All right. So far, so good. And we go for a classic 1800 beater. Yeah, there we go. He landed first blood, but mine's a lot stronger. Yeah, my attack was stronger. And I can beat Twin Sword Marauder unless he has a really good trap or spell, but we'll see. Personally, I got some aggressive traps and spells, but I don't got the really good ones. Hmm. 
Okay, still only one trap and he didn't use it. Oh my god, let's find out if he's been saving a mirror force for when I have multiple Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh -Yu monsters, god damn it. Sorry, Pokemon tournaments this weekend and I'm freaking out. Oh, it's Royal Decree. I am so glad I got rid of that. I am definitely a person that likes to use his trap cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, the only card he's shown off is Twin Sword Marauder, but would he set that card? The answer is too scary to me, so I'm not actually going to use an equip spell. Uh, I'll attack with Sea Serpent just to be sure. See? Look at that. He has a tuner monster. And it's a tuner monster that works with a certain trap card, so you got to be careful. Yeah. The tuner monster that busts his monsters. But so far, the water deck has been working. Um, I just got lucky, honestly. His stats may be all round incredible, but I, I just got lucky. Let's see what else he's got. Okay. Okay, new trap card. I should be very scared. Yeah, granted, I hit Royal Decree and that makes me happy, but there's way scarier traps out there. Um, if I had a Legendary Ocean, I might be willing to go for that idea, but I don't. Um, I summon DD Warrior Lady. I have a chance of winning on this turn alone. So let's see what happens. Alright, I activate United We Stand. I'm going to give 2,400 attack points to you. It won't be enough, but it'll... Maybe we give it to Oystermeister. That way, if Oystermeister dies, we get something special. Yeah, we'll give it to Oystermeister. He's rocking how much attack? 4,000? That's pretty good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and attack with the Sea Serpent guy. Alright, there we go. Did we just beat Ransborg, like, super easily? Like, DD Warrior Lady, um, if I had gotten rid of that monster with Remove from Play, uh, my guy would have lost 800 attack points, and then... That's what, 32 plus 18? Ah, oh, we would have won either way. It was a win-win situation. DD Warrior Lady would have been a safer bet, but at the end of the day, Ransborg didn't do a damn thing. That was strange. Sony with that many powerful stats, and I'm not impressed. I am literally unimpressed, and I don't know why. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's weird. What's going on? We have a winner! Cooper, his dominance in the preliminaries has carried Ron on over. I don't like it. When the game goes easy on me, there's a problem. My blade has been humbled. The victory is yours. You know what it is? It's because your your real cards don't exist. I mean, your cards don't exist. If they had actually made your cards real, maybe we would have had a real duel. Well, guys, we've made it out of the first round of the Fortune Cup. Well, obviously, we're going to save the game because I'm assuming you lose a round of the Fortune Cup, you get a game over, 100%. But let's just see how we perform. Are we ready for another one? We've been waiting for you, Duelists. It's the semifinals. Oh, man. It's the, they only invited eight people, I guess. All right. Semifinals it is. Here are the semifinal matchups. Akiza's back. Oh, crap. Ooh, that's not good. That is really not good. You, we met before at the Underground Duel Arena, and here it is. We meet again. You're the one who wrecked uh, with the wretched dragon mark. You don't know how much I loathe it and myself. But I can't and won't lose. I'll wipe you and your dragon mark out. Yeah, Akiza is problematic. She is a super powerful duelist, and I don't know if my deck is prepared for her. Cold Burning Fire. Higher power level than the last guy, but the last guy was a joke, so... I guess he just got a bad hand, which, thank god, it's been so long since I've had an easy duel in this game. Usually, usually I have to put up a crazy fight. Alright, let's see. Starting with Penguin Soldier again might be a little too predictable, so we're gonna go with Mother Grizzly. I also was considering using Sangam, but I don't think she has any face-down destruction cards. So it should be fine. World, well, except World Tree. World Tree does its job. Miracle Fertilizer, okay. And she's also not willing to play aggressive. Interesting. Does she have... The question is, does she have her field spell? She doesn't. Interesting. And her cards don't really work without it. Okay, you know what I can do? Assuming that there's a trap there that's just super annoying, we're going to just set Penguin Soldier in preparation. 
We'll have Mother Grizzly be a little aggressive. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I can sand gain a new one to my hand. Uh, it's just a copy plan, a basic tuner monster. Nothing to worry about. This turn, we could have achieved 1,400 damage because I probably would have attacked with Mad Lobster. But if she gets two of those World Tree counters, we're in a little bit of trouble because that's when she start, starts popping monsters. And with Miracle Fertilizer, she'll always make sure to have a monster on the field. Hmm. I gotta be very careful here. I can't summon anything too big. Wow! Unlucky from Akiza. Literally summoning nothing. Um... I'm gonna summon Sangan. I know Mad Lobster is still right there waiting, but there's a chance that she has Mirror Force and is just holding off. Um, I can't honestly believe that Akiza's not having a good hand. It's Her plant deck is insane, and she usually does really good in our AI tournaments. Granted, she did not make it to the Season 3 World Tournament, which is a little disappointing, but the characters that did make it have made it super interesting, including Pegasus. The World Tournament Day 1 is already up on the YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. Um, it's a really, really hype day one, I'll say that much. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom, yes, this will get her a really good card. Um, the question is, is it going to be Titanial? Okay, it's Titanial. Whoa. She's got her again, but luckily for me, no matter what she kills, I, ga I gain something in the end. That's the good thing about how my field is set up. There's nothing she could kill where I don't achieve uh, <laughs> a better monster or something. Plus... I bet she's banking on Wall of Thorns back there, but I set up Penguin Soldier so long ago that now Wall of Thorns doesn't mean anything. Mm. I would go for another Mother Grizzly, but screw it, I'm going Cure Mermaid. I want that extra 100 damage. If I want another Mother Grizzly, I'll simply use uh, Sandgan. As long as Miracle Fertilizer's there, though, we're going to have to not have to worry about a damn thing because I pulled the best card ever. Um... Yeah, Heavy Storm is one of the most busted cards in this situation. God, that's how busted it is. She had to say no to it. God had to say no to it because if it if it had happened, I would have won the duel. And by the way, I probably still won the duel because Penguin Soldier counters her Wall of Thorns if that's what she has. Obviously, there's still a chance she doesn't, but this is the counter. Nope, I want Penguin Soldier's damage on the field. So, looking at the field, there is... Enough damage showing for me to win, and yet I'm still... She didn't TT earlier when she had nothing, so... I'm pretty sure I'm safe to do this. There's no reason she wouldn't save her TT. Alright, and let's go for game. Did we just take down Akiza in the same episode without struggling? Like, do you remember when I played the 5Ds racing game on Wii? It took me so long to beat Akiza. It was painful. But in this game, I managed to take her down no problems. That actually worked out really well. I can't believe it, everybody. I honestly can't believe it. We have taken Akiza down. Ugh. Yeah! <laughs> it's like, we did it! And his incredible dueling has just stopped it. Final, ooh, we're coming to the final match. Speed spells from Turbo Duels are going to be featured. Don't miss it. Oh, so we're going to be doing a Turbo Duel in the final match. Which means I know who we're dueling. It's not going to be these kids. They probably lost to Akiza on, other, on the other side of the bracket. Probably. Oh, man. This is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. Let's do it. We missed you out here. Are you ready for the finals? I'm ready to do the whole Fortune Cup in one episode. Let's get this super duper duel going. Who is it? You better believe. I finally get a chance to take a shot at the champ. It's you say Fudo. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot King Jack Atlas is still the king. Never mind. Forgot. But don't worry. You say Fudo. I get to duel you in the finals. Well, I got to face Jack, so there's no way I can lose here. Oh, yeah. You also have a reason. Then watch out, Cooper, because here I come. Dude, I am going to go Super Saiyan on your ass. Watch this. I'm going to... Oh, wait. What's my deck with speed duels again? I think I have a decent speed duel deck. It's not as good as the water one, probably, but... Uh, we'll see. You say it's probably going to be a threat. I shouldn't be so cocky. You say 1,500! The ultimate power level. Warriors aligned. Oh, yeah. He's using his... Oh, Junk Warrior deck. He doesn't have Stardust yet. Thank God, because in the story, he does not have Stardust yet. 
Oh, wait, yeah, he did. I think he was allowed to... Didn't Jack give it to him? I don't remember. Well, Exile Force is a beautiful start. Injection Fair Lily is a very funny start because I could just summon her and he has to... He has to tactically take her out. I can force out a good card from him. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Oystermeister. What's my trap again? Yeah, I'm going to go with Oystermeister in attack mode. If he finds a way to pop this, then it's fine. And if he doesn't, then I'm going to be able to... Uh, get rid of uh, his back row, which is most likely Scrap Iron Scarecrow with my Mobius. So let's see what he's got. He's got Toon Warrior, but that's the same power level as me, so I'm not worried. He's got back row, which is exactly what I was prepared for. Um, unless it's TT or bottomless, I'm going to be able to do some good work here. First things first, though, let's draw a card. And let's show you say how much trouble he's really in. Right, we all got three speed counters. I summon Mobius the Frost Monarch. This is a great monster. Nothing to worry about unless they have Bottomless or TT. I still get a token in worst case scenario, so that's great. We're going to start popping spells and traps. One and two. See if I can hit that Scrap Iron. No need for that back row card to activate. We hit Scrap Iron, everybody. And Dimensional Prison. Oh, two of the best back row cards are gone. You say started with two of the best back row cards, but I started with... Well, luckily I got to go first, and I got to start with Mobius. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Really good start. Plus, I still have a Wild Heart, so next turn, if he does draw a TT or something, I can literally just have a free attack. It'll be fine. Alright, how do you plan on doing... Oh, you know what? We're getting speed spells high enough where spell cards are probably in the... In the oh, Tuning Wear. How do you make that work? You're just trying to kill Oystermeister? I don't have a tribute, so that's fine. Or oyster token, I mean. You're really, really willing to take a hit this hard just to get rid of a token? Oh, you still have two more back row. Jesus. I thought I did really good by getting rid of your back row, but you still have a lot more. Luckily for me, I have a monster that doesn't care. Even if you have TT, I don't care. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and make sure to get rid of his monster. That's that's the important part. We're unaffected by traps, so there's no way he could stop this. Yeah, and Speed Duel's Wild Heart seems to be quite the monster. You say Fudo has lost a speed counter. That's really important. And Mobius goes in. Hopefully, they don't have a new scrap iron or something. Yo, you say has nothing. What is going on this Fortune Cup? Why is everyone losing? He even does he doesn't even have enough speed counters to use good speed spells anymore. He would have been at five. Now he's at freaking three. Oh my gosh, he's been completely shut down. Junk Warrior comes to save the goddamn day. But Cooper has the trap for this problem. This card will bounce back your junk warrior. Start junk synchron, stopping you from getting junk warrior, which doesn't even overpower Mobius. Even though you still get this guy back, which I can ignore. It's not as important. Alright, there we go. Now, ooh, even if he was saving a card back there, it won't make a difference. I have second Mobius. But right now, I could just go for a, a regular monster. I don't have to use any crazy options, so... Let's say Reflect Powder might come in handy because he's so weak. Let's just go with the good old... Good old Bazoo. Zoo doesn't even need to eat any souls right now. We're in a good position. Wild Heart, go. Make guarantee that this guy doesn't get a monster. Mobius, go. What? He's had Mirror Force the whole time! Thank God I didn't use any of my good cards. Okay. Well, I could have mobius on Mobius, but then we wouldn't have won the duel anyway. At least I... Unless... Junk Synchron's going to be able to pull it off now. Yeah, that's true. And he's built up speed counters, but I saved so many good options for this worst-case scenario. But damn, he saved Mirror Force. All right, I think this combo lets him draw a card because the effect activates in the grave. Yeah, Armory Ar Oh, it's only at level 1? I thought he could be level... Oh, because the effect was negated. He's only level 2. I, he was only level 1. Okay, that makes sense. Armory Arm is not even scary in the end, at the end of the day, so... It does suck that I'm losing my guy who's immune to traps. That's pretty important, but... I have a girl in my hand that's way stronger. Maybe I'll actually draw a speed spell. No, I did not. Okay. Well, that's a thing. 
It's not like he Okay, all of his traps have been to stop attack so far. So there's no way he has another one. Like, the odds of him having four traps that stop attackers just doesn't seem possible. I pay the 2k. And you'll take way more. Never mind. I forgot, you're an 1800 beater. And there we go. Now we're in a part where Reflect Bounder will most likely win me the duel in a worst case scenario. Even though I have plenty of life points to keep injecting Fairy Lily as strong as possible. So you say puts up a fight. I'll give him that much credit, but hopefully that means I still am in control. A second Junk Synchron. Whoa. All right. Unexpected. Uh, level four. Are you going to make another Armory Arm? Hmm. Okay. That doesn't really do much. I guess you do survive the attack in attack mode. You, you get to draw a card giving you a chance to get better back row. It makes a lot more sense now. I always have the Mobius, but if I go for Mobius and it's a not a attacking trap, it's a spell card tra uh, destruction trap, that changes everything. So in order to win the duel, I need to attack. And right now, I think the best option I have is Exile Force. So let's see if he does have some sort of trap. Uh, worst case, I could just go for it immediately. That way he can't negate it or stop it. Um, and let's destroy your monster, leaving you wide open for a game-winning attack. Oh, he does run Divine Wrath. That was unexpected, and now has... I pay for it. I could have won the duel by battle. Unless this new trap is also going to stop me and put me in a really bad position. Because this is costing me a lot of life points. I haven't drawn a single speed skill. I put a lot in this deck. I want to try one out. All right, Divine Wrath would have killed my Mobius, too, so I'm glad I didn't go the Mobius route. And I'm keeping his speed counters kind of low, but he's at a point where he could use them. There's no way he'll draw a third Junk Synchron, though. There's just no way. He's at 200 life points. Reflect Bounder can win me the duel if I have to. Just keep me safe. Graceful Revival doesn't matter. Okay, that card's a little annoying, but it doesn't matter. It's in attack mode. Let's see what else he's got. All right, he's Tribute Summoning, which means he's out of options. Turret Warrior, exactly. He's out of options. Toon will well hold up. <laughs> Yo, wait. That was a special summon. I didn't realize it. Colossal Fighter? What the fu It's stronger than my girl! Yo, what? How did he pull this off? When this card is destroyed by battle, it has to be destroyed by battle. Screw you! Last second Raigeki break! Swarm of Scarabs go to hell! And goodbye, you say's freaking colossal bitch. All right, we did it. We've won the duel against you say. We don't even need to use our Injection Fairy Lily's effect. We are at maximum speed counters, not like a spell was ever necessary. We could summon Reflect Bounder without any risks, and we can win with our final attack. Go. You say Fudo puts up a hell of a fight. And I just happen to have all the perfect cards. And once again, I got lucky going first. If I had not gone first, I would have succumbed to his trap cards before getting Mobius. Damn, the Fortune Cup is all mine. Max speed bonus, that's right. That's right, I had the need and I got the speed. Sorry, you say. That was a really good duel though. That one was really fun. The winner of the Fortune Cup is Cooper. Let's give a big round of applause to these duelists. They gave us quite a show. Well, I gave it my all and my cards responded well too. I'm glad I got the chance to duel you. Yep, get your Stardust back another way. Hey folks, the tournament isn't over. A special match with the King now awaits. Get Speed World up and running. We're in for a truly extraordinary duel. The fight of the century. Oh my god, I get the duel. Jack Atlas. My favorite care. Whoop. Oh, oh, wait. Memory. Oh, no. It's a uh, signer thing. Ow. Having a... Oh, fainting. Yep. That happens. Leo. Luna. Help me. The time has finally come. Now then, let us proceed with the plan. Bring me Peter Pan. What the hell? Bring Cooper to the temple? What are you talking about? I wanted to duel Jack Atlas. I don't care about your temples. I just want to duel the champ. What the... None of this makes sense. 
What is this place? What? What? I want a dual jack! What the hell? How come I don't get the dual jack? Ah. Oh. Whatever, guys, the story has taken a very strange turn, and I think it's time to take things seriously. I'll be seeing you in the next episode when we take on the Temple of Doom. Bye bye